So off to Hereford next then for the Hereford Club Handicap Hurdle. Another compact field. Three miles this time. Uh, the 0 to 100 top one Vimiero Domini for Thomas Rogers. Barolo Viking for Martin Lidham. Camp Possession for B. Fotheringham. Mighty Black for Graham Clutterbuck. Resentful Sadie James Shea. Daddy Al McRae. Alex Cherry Jovi on apparent Thomas Rogers. And Winchester for Daniel French. So that's your eight then for this. Called in and away. Uh, Mighty Black leads them into the first, very short one to the first, but they're all safely over it, as you would expect. And Resentful Sadie, Mighty Black and Jovian Apparent were three in a line. They're now joined by Barolo Viking, who's poked its head into the lead. That one does like to go off in the lead, but it also supposedly prefers chasing, but it has a tendency to fall over, so it's been given a spin over the hurdles, probably won't have the pace but um, over three miles you never know uh, Camp Possession is in second and B Fothering has already had one Camp winner today and he'll be hoping for a second Daddy O McRae is next and then Jovial Apparent and Mighty Black and Winchester Vimiero Domini and finally Resentful Sadie so they get to the second then and Barolo Viking is over it clear leading by three to Camp Possession in second so they get to the third. And all nicely over that one. Good jumps by Jovian Apparent and Daddy O McRae have seen them move up into second and third. Mighty Black's now fourth. Camp Possession is fifth. Then Winchester and Vimiero Domini and Resentful Sadie are just struggling to keep in shot. But Barolo Viking is setting the pace in this three mile hurdle. As they race and the part of the field with the electric fence to stop people from getting into the course for free from those houses jumping over their back gate and they get over number four and they're all safely over that one um, Barolo Viking is the leader well, about three lengths to Jovial Apparent as they get over number five and they're all safely over that that's a good job we haven't got too big a field otherwise one or two of them will be perilously close to that electric fence and it's Barolo Viking in the lead from Jovial Apparent second, and Daddy Al McRae third, and Mighty Black fourth, then Winchester, and Camp Possession just dropped back a little bit, Vimiero Domini going upsides that one as well, and Resentful Sadie's two or three lengths of drift at the back, but there's still an awful long way to go as they get over number six. Barolo Viking in their stripes in the lead. To Jovial Apparent, and then Mighty Black. The main number, number seven, and the main book of the jump season pretty much completed now. Then, with yesterday's Grand National and the culmination of the Liverpool meeting last week, Cheltenham, of course. What have we got left? We've got the Scottish Grand National coming up next week, and the whip bread as well. Plus, we've got some French races as well. And then, in the final week, we'll get the starters' orders and Moore's Millions Finals, which the qualifiers for those are coming up later today. And they'll probably be the final qualifiers as well, so if you haven't got qualified and you're not in today's, you're probably not going to be there. So, Barolo Viking is the leader. Well, certainly not going to be in either of the, any of those finals. Barolo Viking, Mighty Black is in second. Jovial Apparent is third and Winchester fourth. Then Daddy Al McRae is after that one. Then Camp Possession and Vimiero Domini and finally Resentful Sadie, but she's getting considerably closer now. Still last, but no more than 10 minutes off the lead and appears to be travelling pretty well. And Barolo Viking comfortably in the lead. Skips over number nine. With Winchester now moved up on the outside into second. Mighty Black is there in third. Then Jovial Apparent, Daddy Over Cray, Resentful, Sadie creeping around the outside. Looks the one to be on at this point. But there's still a mile to go. And Barolo Viking now about to be joined by Mighty Black. Resentful, Sadie and Daddy Over Cray are next. And then Jovial Apparent, then Winchester. Gap of a couple of lengths. Back to Vimiero, Domini in camp position. But this one is still wide open as Mighty Black pokes its head in front. And Barolo Viking surrenders the lead momentarily. But then fights back to regain it as they race down towards the next flight. Mighty Black and Barolo Viking from Jovial Apparent. Over the 11th they go, Mighty Black's won the battle to lead and has now gone on by.
by a length and a half. Barolo Viking just being given a bit of a breather on the inside is second. Winchester is next. Then comes Daddy Amacray as they get over that th four from home. And Barolo Vikings fighting back for the lead. They've got three more flights to take and they've got five furlongs to race. And it's Barolo Viking from Mighty Black. Then comes Daddy Amacray, Winchester, Jovial Apparent, Resentful, Sadie, Vimiero, Dominino going around the outside. Come position trying to run on as well. There's nothing out of this yet as they make their way towards the next flight then and round the outside Vimiero Domini has swept through now to burst into the lead Vimiero Domini's come from nowhere to take it up over the third last good jump by Mighty Black in second Barolo Viking looking one pace now in third Daddy McRae trying to run on resentful Sadie now starts her run again but Vimiero Domini has got them thinking about it racing down towards the second last flight Vimiero Domini over it in the lead from Mighty Black second then Daddy McRae resentful Sadie but it's Vimeo Domini who's coming down towards this final flight then with a good lead of a length and a half to Mighty Black in second. Daddy O'Macray's trying to run on but Viniero Domini looks strong in the lead. Mighty Black is second. Then Daddy O'Macray resentful Sadie's got no more. Coming down towards the final flight then now and Viniero Domini's beginning to tie. Gets over it nicely in the lead but here comes Daddy O'Macray on the outside. Mighty Black on the near side they're racing up towards one Viniero Domini. Daddy O'Macray just gets up and Daddy O'Macray is going to take it. Viniero Domini second Mighty Black third come possession run on well long time leader Barolo Viking ended up last and Viniero Domini did it go just that little bit too soon Daddy O'Macray coming up on its inside to take it so the favourite lands the spores for Alex Cherry and let's get a full list of the finishing positions there Daddy O'Macray for Alex Cherry the winner Vimiero Domini for Thomas Rogers was second. Unlucky that one. Mighty Black for Graham Clutterbuck ran a good race in third. Camp possession for B. Fotheringham ran on to be fourth. And resentful Sadie looked all over the winner with about a mile to go. Or James Shea was fifth. <laughs>